just yesterday, Wizards of the Coast, the, the, the people behind Magic the Gathering, just previewed or teased their newest set coming out. And it is called uh, Kamigawa uh, Neon Destiny. So let's bring up an image of that. Here we go. Uh, and they've been doing some really cool uh, CG trailers. So we're going to try and play this trailer for you. But I just want to drop a couple of things before we get to it. And that the Kamigawa block has been out before. And it was a kind of like a samurai and uh, a ninja and, and kind of like a Japanese themed uh, set in, in, the, in the Magic Universe. And now they're taking that and... Uh, Let's say, as you can see by the name, Neon Destiny. That doesn't sound very traditional, you know, uh, ninja or, or you know, Japanese uh, influence. But let's see if we can play you guys the trailer here, and uh, we'll you'll see what it's all about. looks really cool yeah so cyberpunk yeah very very cool very different um look to it something that is totally new uh so magic the gathering coming out with a looks like your cyberpunk shadow run blade runner-esque here we go here's a look at what the products that are going to be coming out. And this set is coming out in, uh, I believe, February. So as always, there's going to be draft booster packs. That's your standard Magic the Gathering pack. You can draft out of it. There's going to be the set booster pack. Set booster packs are guaranteed foil, better rarity distribution in it. That's if you want to collect the set. And, of course, the collector boosters are in there. Collector boosters give you all kinds of alternate art cards, foil cards, everything. The art in this set is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so, uh, yeah, check out this. This is one of the images here that they've sent for, for the promotional images. I just love the look of this. This is, like I said, you got your, your, your cyberpunk look, your, your Blade Runner. Like I think it's going to be super cool it's very different and i applaud wizards of the coast for reaching out and trying different things we've already had the dungeons and dragons um magic set there's going to be a lord of the rings and a warhammer set coming out warhammer 40k and now this so the the mechanics and the play for magic are super solid so why not put that into different themes and genres so let's take a look at one of the other things here jesse i'm going to bring it up here this again one of the the promo uh, images that, that they yeah. brought up, and uh, yeah, this is dragons. You know, again, how do you have magic without dragons? And of course, we've got these being looking like the more traditional, uh, you know, like the Chinese slash Japanese uh, dragons here. And look at the card here, wow. man! This is super cool. We've got a legendary creature, an ogre demon. So again, embracing all of that, uh, you know. Um, Japanese influence stuff, Onis, you know, magic, samurai. So it looks super, super cool. Can't wait uh, for this set. We this this particular set, we have had a lot of people already since that trailer dropped pre-order it. And I'm going to ask you to just bring up this next slide here uh, because this is one of the things that people are going nuts for. So in oh, Magic wow. the Gathering, 
you have land cards. Land generate you mana. And these are just your basic mana cards. So here's only three out of the five, but you'll get kind of the idea. So on the left, you've got like the planes, which generate you white mana. And then you've got uh, uh, blue mana. There's the water and the red mana. And all of them have this kind of traditional Japanese style art. Looks incredible. So we had to mention it because, uh, you know, magic such a big part of our store. And this set looks like it is going to be uh, just crazy, crazy cool. Uh, and like I said, we're, it's coming out uh, in uh, January. Uh, not January, sorry, in, in February. So put that on your radar as well. You know, uh, the Wizards of the Coast got some information on their website for you to check out about that set. You can see even more of the cards they're promoting. I would love to do a deep dive into some of those more cards, but I am not the magic guru so we're going to see if we can get some of the guys from heroes world to to talk a little bit more about it because it's really exciting and this particular how magic releases sets they kind of release it in a block so if you're not familiar with magic but you really like the cyberpunk setting you could just buy these two card sets so kamigawa oh, the nice. neon destiny and whatever comes after and just play with that and i think that would be a load load of fun i was uh, I was going to ask you, you brought up the uh, draft boosters and um, yeah. the, um, what was the other thing? Uh, what's Set the middle boosters? one? So me as a new player, if I wanted to jump into this, what's a draft booster? Did, do I just buy a draft booster and I can play or how, oh, how, okay. do, how do I start the game if I want to uh, jump in? So if you were to jump into it, uh, a draft booster is a, um, you get uh, 15 cards in the booster and it's, it's, kind of made for you to play by buying three packs and and having like a tournament game with six other players or eight other players in which you are going to choose a card pass the card or the rest of the pack around and then you keep doing that until all three packs are are done it's not your introductory format to it if you wanted to start playing the game you would probably want to dive into maybe one of the bundles or if they make what's called a starter deck product. I haven't seen if they're going to have a starter deck for this particular set uh, just yet. Uh, but in insofar as if you bought enough draft booster packs, you could build a deck. And that's how people used to traditionally build magic decks. You know, you'd buy cards and try and get the cards you need in order to build your deck. But depending on how rare those cards were, sometimes you'd have to buy a lot. So people would just buy the cards individually that they wanted. So if you are looking at this, I say getting into the game and you wanted a lot more variety, then you go for the set booster cards because you're going to okay. get more rares in it and not as much repetition in your packs, right? So that's why they call it the, the set because you have somebody collecting for the set. But again, you can play with all of them. And if you're really chasing those alternate art cards and stuff, you're going to look into getting the collector boosters, which are a lot of fun. But the price tag is a little bit more steep on those ones. So yeah, so it's a lot of fun. So hopefully we'll get a chance to check out some of those cards when they come in because I know we're both fans of Cyberpunk, uh, even that new video game that just came out. Uh, and I'm, you, you still read the Blade Runner comics. I'm yes. into Shadowrun. So it's a theme that we are definitely down with. So 